Have you registered an application in your Microsoft tenant and had permission issues? I'll let you know how to register an application in four easy steps. First, I'll show you how to register the app in your Microsoft tenant. Then I'll show you how to add permissions. Thirdly, I'll show you how to grant admin consent so that the application has the correct permissions, making sure that they're least privileged. And finally, I'll show you in the graph developer tool exactly what the application has access. So the first step is registering an application. And so to do that, we need to go to Entra. Once inside Entra, it's pretty easy to see in the side panel, but if you just go to app registrations. Once in app registrations, we can click new registration. I'm typing in a user-friendly name for the application. So I'm just gonna call new app. Then you can decide who you want to access this application. So for this, I'm going to choose that I only want accounts in this um, organization directory to be able to access the application. And then if you want to add a redirect URI, you can. In this case, we won't. And there you can see how easy it is to add an application to your Microsoft tenant. So now I'll show you how to add permissions to the application. You can easily see here with the little plus icon how to add permissions. Once you've clicked that, you go to Microsoft Graph and then hit application permissions. If this is an application um, which, for example, just needs user profiles um, and wants user read information, you can toggle down to user and just go to user read all. Now it's important that this changes for different applications and in all application documentation, it will be very clear what permissions that the application needs. And it's very important if it is just read all information or read all permissions that you are just giving it read all and not read write all so that the application has no way of changing the user information and profiles within your tenant. So this way we're giving the application just enough permissions, but not enough permissions to make any changes to our tenant. So with that, you just hit add permissions and there you can see this application has permission to read all user full profiles. So now we've added the permissions, you might think that the application has access to read all of the user profiles in your tenant. But as you can see in the status column, it says not granted for Contoso. So Contoso is the name of the um, demo organization that this tenant is. So in order to grant permissions, you need to hit this little tick here, which everyone always forgets. So once you've hit yes and granted permissions, only then will the application be able to read all of the user profiles. So here we're in the Microsoft Graph Explorer, and this is a neat way in how you can see exactly what permissions and what access to your tenant and information the application is getting. So if we go to run a query here where you're just saying, what are the users in my organization? You can see, if this is the endpoint that the application is I'm calling, then this is the information that is getting. So you can see job titles, mobile phone numbers, and names of employees. So you can see absolutely why we don't want to give out read write permissions because we absolutely do not want anyone changing this information in our tenant. So with read all information, you're only giving the application access to see this information and not to edit it. So that is how to register an application and give it least privileges in your Microsoft tenant. If you want to know some more quick tips and avoid the common pitfalls of configuring a Microsoft tenant, then be sure to check out our social media.